Hey everyone, Joe here. Today we have a tutorial in DaVinci Resolve and we're going to be focusing on Fusion. Now, this tutorial is all about creating you know, basic title intros for your videos. So it doesn't go into a lot of details. We don't use curves or anything in this one. However, I figure I'll include a few elements, um, part of Fusion stuff that you can use to kind of uh, make your titles look pretty decent and still keep it fairly basic and a fairly short tutorial. So if that's interesting to you, you definitely do want to watch this video. But before we get started, check out this awesome product from A Shampoo. A Shampoo Backup Pro 14 backs up your data and operating system automatically to all common storage types and cloud services. Always up to date backups take the fear out of hardware failure, OS issues, or malware infections. Don't miss my demo and review of Backup Pro 14. Plus, learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, everybody, here we are inside DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you have any backgrounds you want to use, now it's time to import them. However, you can use video if you want to. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to use a background, you know, just because I don't have any video to go for this. But anyway, now that we go over that, we're going to go over to the timeline here and we want to create one because we don't have a timeline yet. Okay, I'm going to go file and go to new timeline. And number of video tracks, audio tracks, that's what by normal is. I'm gonna run it down to one each, just for this tutorial. And let's go ahead and create our timeline there. Now, once we got that done, we need to go up here to effects library, go toolbox, down to effects, and get our fusion composition. You can see I already have it started, it is one of my favorites, and drag it over the timeline. Now by default, mine is set up to be eight second clips. However, I do want to extend this out to nine seconds because that's what I normally use for my title intros and stuff. That way you get a full eight seconds in for you know, your animation and stuff. And the last second can be used for transitions. Okay, now to get that done, let's go ahead and click and make sure we are within our Fusion Comp and click on the fusion little magic wand down here at the bottom of the screen it says fusion okay now here we are with inside fusion and when you notice we have one node here and this is media out we want to drag it over to your right side of the desktop and what we uh, want to do is actually go ahead and grab one of our media objects go over to the media pool and go ahead and drag down our little image here and you'll notice it is labeled as median one i am going to press f2 which will bring up the rename tool and i am going to name this photo background i'm going to photo background and click ok it's really important to keep these named correctly that way you know what you got going on okay now we do want to drag in another background here and this will just labels as background. And we do want to dra drag in a resize, which would be this one. Okay. And what this is gonna do is enable us to make sure our background is the correct size. And we want to click on the little square and just link it to the center of resize here. Then click on resize. Now you will see it says width and height, a 3840 by 2160, cause this is a 4K one. So we already have our size set up. However, if you happen to have a different size than what you're actually would be using for your video, you can adjust it here. Okay, once you get that done, you will need a merge. And this is the merge here. We'll drag our merge down to here and drag it over. And we can just drag it over here to the side right here. All right, because that'll be bringing it in. And we've got our, see here, we've got our foreground at the top. That is, make sure it is linked over to merge one as the background. And let's name our, rename our merge. I'm gonna call it photo background merge, or you just type in MRG. Okay, wonderful. Now we have our photo background. We can highlight these, drag these down a little further. And we may want to add some like transitions, for example. 
Now, for this one, we have our little transform here. Let's drag it down. Now, a tip. I actually use two of these. And you're probably wondering why I use two transforms. First one, I'm going to rename is you know, photo background position. Or POS. <laughs> Now, that one I will use to actually move the photo around, resize it, you know, or actually just make sure it's in the correct position. The second one I will actually use here is the actual one I use for movements. Photo, background, movement. This is very helpful, especially on text. So let's drag this over to here. Drag this one over here, automatically link everything. And let's go ahead and grab this one and drag it over here to media out. And once we got that done, you see the image is brought up here. Okay. We can drag these down about right position here and go line up to grid, line up everything real nice. Okay. So here we can check out the size if we wanted to. And actually we're going to use a size for this and for the actual movement well, i actually haven't decided i may actually just move it pan it left to right bring it in a little bit but before we get to doing that let's go ahead and add our text so this is going to be all 2d text i will bring it over here though text one let's choose our font and everything before we start adding a bunch of stuff i use century gothic on a lot of mine because i just really like it the way it looks Make sure it is regular. And let's type in what we're going to have for text here. Okay. So I'm going to put in here. I'm going to go ahead and just click paste. A simple video title intro with fusion. Alrighty. Now let's get that one. You probably notice you don't see it yet. Don't worry about it. <laughs> now we actually want to bring down another merge. And we want to link that one. See, when we drag it over the line, it turns blue. Let us know that it is linked. And you can drag that straight down to it if you want to. And we will see it on the screen right here. Now, as before, we are going to put down two transforms. You can see that line turn blue. Drag another one. You can see that line turn blue also. This transform, I am actually going to call, you know, upper text. Just type in upper txt and is going to be named uh we're going to call it position pos okay and then rename that one to while i'm at it just call it upper takes okay now this one i'm going to call upper text movement Grab these, pull them over a little bit. And there we go. Let's go ahead and click on upper text here because we got a lot of options. Now we notice that it is kind of boring, kind of plain, stuck in the background, too large. All right, don't worry. Let's see what here. How to creep a simple video. Title with fusion. Okay, and we can move that in a second. Let's go ahead and make it a little easier to see go here to shading now you have 20 different elements here uh go over the first three for you the uh get element two you can enable it and it says our name red outline however let's go choose black outline we can change the color not a big deal thickness currently is about 0.02 let's put it on 0.01 like 0.01 better and let's go to select element go to number three Number three is already created for us is black shadow. I'm going to leave it default. And that will make things a little bit easier for us to see and read here on the screen. Okay. Now, we already got those done. Let's highlight these four. Go to copy. Click on the dead spot of the screen. Paste. There we go. Everything's already done. All we got to do is just rename them. I get to do it here without going crazy. Lower text. There we go. Let's try to rename everything. Lower text position. Okay. One. Lower text movement. And 
this one is lower text merge. Okay. And we can unlink that one, drag it over here and drag this one over here. And now we have two of these on here. Go line up tools grid. This down. All right. Now let's click in here. Let's down this one right here. Change it to Da Vinci Resolve 16 Tutorial. Okay. So now that we have them all the same, let's basically go here with position and get our Y axis and bring this one down. And we can grab the other one, get our Y axis and drag it up. Sometimes it wants to glitch for some reason. I really wish DaVinci Resolve would, uh, Blackmagic would fix that in DaVinci Resolve. Okay. And let's go up here to the, it says upper text again. Change that. Lower text. There we go. And let's change that size to something smaller. Yeah, that'll work. And let's change this other up here. Make it look a little different. To where it's actually positioned. Actually, I'll do the alignments over here. And let's move it over. And do our justifications and stuff. Gotta figure out which one is. Yeah, there we go. And let's get a position. We'll just drag the position over. And that will be the X axis. Okay, let's drag it up a little higher. And that's looking pretty decent there. Let's drag this one. Drag it about right here. Pull it over here. Okay, looking pretty decent. Alrighty. So now we want to actually do some kind of animation on this. And here's area right here. You see this is our frames and stuff. We want to go back to zero. And we also have little keyframe markers here. So we want to go down here to upper text movement. All right. Click on that one. And we're at frame zero. That's where we want to be. And let's click over to our furthest frame, which is 269. And click in another keyframe. So from here, I actually want to move it over, say, right here. If we go back to this keyframe, let's drag it back the other direction just a little bit. That way when we go across, it is a little bit of movement and stuff. Yeah. So go from there to there. Yeah, that'll work. So that we're going to use for movement and the bottom one also. I am going to actually drag this one over. And make sure we are at frame zero, put it in our keyframe. Then go to the other side and I want to pull it back the other direction to about right here. We'll go from there to there. That'll be our overall movements. That'll work pretty decent. Okay. So now we got that done. I'm going to go down here to merge for upper text. And I want to actually kind of blend this in. So I want to go back over here to frame zero. And I want to go here, it says blend. Click that, put a keyframe in. And let's see, I actually have this run at 30 frames per second. So I want one second to fade in, so 30 frames. You got frame 30. And put in another keyframe. Now we can click the little back uh, arrow, I guess you can call it here. Go back to frame zero. And let's drag this down to zero so it fades it out. That way you don't see it to after frame you know, 30, give a little fade to it, you know, make it look nice. Okay, now we're gonna do the same for the lower text here. And we rename that again, that's this is more text. <laughs> Lord. Okay, here we go. Lower text merge. And I want to do similar, so if I want to start a little bit later. So I'm gonna go type in 90 here. And go to blend and put in a keyframe. And put another one in at 120. Wonderful. Go back and 
remove that. You want to just kind of just pull the blend down so it fades it out. That way around here, we don't have nothing. They start to slowly move in and looking pretty nice. Okay. Now that should be most of it for most folks. Most people will probably like that. However, we can go a little bit further here and make things look a little bit nicer. Now, for example, at the photo background here, let me pull that up. I'm gonna grab, uh, grab the blur here, a little blur tool and drag that in. Now what we can do here is for example, uh, maybe I wanna start say around, go back to frame zero and the blur size to be, you know, nothing, zero, completely zero. Okay. Then say about frame 90, maybe? No, let's draw, actually go to frame 60, two seconds in. And let's drop another one in and have it finished blended in by 90. Okay, go back to here and okay. So that way by 90, we can blend that in, say about right here. However you want it. Maybe five, just put in an even five right there. So that way over here, you see it goes, starts to blend it in so you can see everything. Makes it very easy to see. Okay, wonderful. Now I so we're gonna do a background movement too make things look a bit nicer all right so let's drag our background see how far we can go that is actually pretty big let me zoom this out all right this is there to the, maybe too far let's see here want to keep it subtle enough so anyway let's go over here put the first one in I want to pull it about right here, around five, one. Keyframe in. Other one here at the far end, and I want to go out to about four, two. That'll work good. There, two there. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. So that'll give good movement and everything to it. So let's hop over here to our timeline and we can let it render out and we can preview it. Okay, everybody. I now have my fusion cache rendered out. If yours is not rendered out, go right click on it and go down to render fusion output and click on own and sit back and it will render it out when you have a final blue line. Now we're going to preview this now and see it looks pretty decent. Now, what I wanted to do with this tutorial was kind of give you an idea of things you can do. And this one isn't probably the best one. Matter of fact, I don't like that you can see the background that easily throughout the entire composition. But uh, I want to kind of just show you a few things that you can do as a kind of a basic uh, starting point for you to learn with. And you can custom create your own. So anyway, I hope this is very helpful. I will be having another tutorial come later where we'll get into more of the curves and stuff and how we can get um, more you know, fluid type motions and stuff with our titles, intros and stuff. But I thought this was a good starting point for at least start out with is a good, you know, basic, you know, video. Okay, everyone. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. And if you're interested in Backup Pro 14, do check down the links down in the description below. Purchasing uh, Backup Pro 14 does help support this channel and makes tutorials like this possible. And if you like this video, how about give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe's free. It's for you and lets you know I release more videos. And also while you're at it, do check the bell icon to make sure you get all the latest videos and stuff when they're released. So anyway, that's it for this video one. Hope you liked it and I hope to see you in the next one.